When new people join your team, there are many things to think about. You need to set up their workspace, take care of paperwork, and work out a schedule for their first day, week, and month at the company. This process, when done well, can lead to new employees feeling engaged, connected to their peers, and ready to bring efficient work to the table. In this video, you'll see how Notion can help you build and run an ideal employee onboarding. We'll show you how to build your own employee database from scratch, complete with its own properties, templates, and views. Let's get started, shall we? This workspace belongs to a fictional company called Acme Inc., where every page serves as a homepage for every team. Let's have a look at the Talent Teams page, which could also be called People or Human Resources. Notice that our Talent page already contains pages that are relevant to all employees. For example, this Team Directory database showcases information about each employee, a helpful resource for newcomers and first joiners alike. We'll want to create a new page in this top link section. Let's type the fort slash key, followed by the word page, and enter. A new page automatically appears, and you can see that it is located in the talent page. We can name our page onboarding, give it an icon, and select the board option in the database section below. Our new page is now a Kanban board composed of three columns, not started, in progress, and completed. These three cards to the left are here by default and we can select them with the mouse and drag them wherever we want. Click inside a card, and you'll see that a new page will show up. That's because each database entry is a page in itself. Just like in a regular Notion page, you can rename it at the top and use the body of the page to add all the content you want about the new hire. Just like we did for this card, we can rename the two other cards and use your new hire's names as page titles. Now, notice the section at the top? These are what we call properties. They are pieces of information about each database entry. By default, this database boasts a person property, allowing you to specify the person this page is assigned to, and a status property, where you can show the new hire's onboarding status. But there are so many more properties you can add to a database. For example, short text, numbers, dates, and emails. Most of this information is dynamic, which means that we can use them later to organize our database around them, like creating views and filters. So what small pieces of information would we like to know about a new hire? We could specify the team they're joining. For this, click on Add a Property, name your new property Team, hover your mouse under Property Type, then pick a select property from the dropdown. We might also want to add their start date. This time, select a date property from the list, Pick a Files and Media property and name it Photo. This is where you'll be able to upload a photo of your new hire. Now let's rename this already existing person property to Hiring Manager and use the six dot icon next to it to drag it from the top and drop it at the bottom of the Properties section. We can create an email property to add the new hire's personal email and another one for their work email. Here's our custom list of properties. Notice that while we use this particular card to add properties, the properties have been added to the entire database. They will show up in any existing entry, as well as any new entry we decide to add. You can view this property section as a kind of standardized form to be filled out. You'll need to click on Empty next to a property to add the desired information. In the case of Select menus, the options to select from are not created yet, so you'll have to build them from scratch. Simply type in the name of the new hire's team and click on Create or simply hit Enter. To add another option, repeat the same steps. Click next to a date property and a calendar will appear. Select the date you want with your mouse. For this property, you can either upload a file from your computer or paste in a link here. As we mentioned previously, People properties only require you to select a name from the list of all workspace members. If you can't find your hiring manager right away, use the search bar to look their name up. Finally, you can type or paste emails in the empty space next to each property. In this case, Kate doesn't have a work email yet, so we can leave this property blank. For now, this page and database can only be viewed by Acme workspace members, but it will eventually serve as the new hire's own onboarding page. To protect the privacy of your new hires, 
you can remove workspace access and add a group of editors to this page. This way, only those who need to know can see the employee information on the page, but everyone in your workspace can get the 10,000 foot view of who's joining and when. We'll document the onboarding process inside the page, from steps for the new hire to take, to information they will need to know before their first day of work. Provided you already have all that detailed content ready someplace else in your workspace, you can simply select all content blocks, copy them, and paste them into your database page. This option is viable, but it's not the most scalable, because you would have to paste the same content into every other new hires page. To avoid all the pasting, simply click on the downwards arrow on the right-hand side, then on New Template. This will bring you to a new page. You can now use this space to create your database template. Let's give it a name and paste in the content blocks we copied earlier. Notice that this onboarding page includes a table of contents, which allows readers to jump to whatever section they want. The Before You Start section lists out all the things that need to be taken care of before the new hire walks through the door on their first day. Here, they can pick the type of laptop they want and type in their name for their work email. There, they are asked to upload a photo of them which will be used for the ACME team directory and enter their full postal address. Should they want to join a company affinity group, they can go to this Google form. This section describes the way the first day at work will go. You can use our Google Maps embed to show the location of the office and add check marks for all the tasks that should be completed as the day unfolds. The new recruit can then check these boxes when they've completed each task. This was simply a glimpse of how a general onboarding template could look like, but there are merits of other content types you could use to make your information and information gathering clear, concise, and welcoming. For a full video on Notion's content types, go here. By the end of this page, the new hire should be fully equipped with their laptop and work accessories, as well as have a functional work email and access to Slack. At this point, it would make sense to add a schedule of how the first day, week, and month will look like for your new recruit. This schedule will vary depending on the team they join. For instance, we could add a board database detailing all introductory meetings or trainings with the team for anyone joining product and engineering. To make sure new hires don't miss their team-specific onboarding, you can add a callout block specifying what the page is about and introduce it with a header. Now that this page stores the product and engineering onboarding schedule, it makes sense to rename this template product and engineering onboarding, give it a corresponding icon, and specify that the team is product and engineering. Let's click on onboarding to go back to our database. Click on the downwards arrow next to new, and this will conjure up the templates menu. What we'll want to do is duplicate this template and use it to create a template for every team. You'll need to click on the three-dot icon, then select Duplicate, and rename your new template. Here, we can call it Marketing Onboarding, and select a new icon. Scroll down the page, and now you can simply replace the Product and Engineering Onboarding database with a database detailing what onboarding with the marketing team looks like. Now, we can repeat the same steps for all remaining departments at Acme. Talent, Customer Experience, Sales, Finance, and Legal. Amazing! Finally, we can proceed to adding content to our existing cards. For this one, simply select the corresponding template, and it will be added automatically. Before we share this page with Kate, let's simply change the name of her team onboarding page to Kate's Product and Engineering Onboarding. Kate will be able to use this database to communicate with teammates for questions, but also show them her progress in this board view. Here, entries are grouped by status, allowing the new hire to drag cards from one column to the next. We can now go back to Kate's general onboarding page and click on the share menu at the top right. Let's paste in her personal email, make sure the sharing option is full access, and click on invite. Kate will now receive an email invitation to be a guest in this Notion workspace and can view, comment, and edit this page freely from her personal account. You can always leave her a personalized message in the comments section to welcome her again to the team. Kate is now fully equipped for her onboarding, and thanks to the database template, it only took a couple of minutes to get her ready.
you can repeat the same steps for every new hire. Select their team template, fill out properties at the top, rename their team onboarding database, and restrict the page to the new hire and the onboarding team only. To add a new entry to your database, click on the blue New button at the top right. You'll be able to add the new hire's name at the top and repeat the steps we just showed. This is what a full onboarding database could look like. The way to show photos on board entries is to click on the Properties menu, then click on the drop-down next to Card Preview. In this case, we want our file property to be displayed, but we could also have asked to show the page's cover image or page content. This toggle right here allows you to choose whether or not you want your full image to appear in the preview. All set! Your new hires now have everything they need to have a successful onboarding. The more your startup grows, the more you'll want the standardized process in place to welcome every new person to the team. Notion's vast array of content types, integrations, and databases will help you build that perfect onboarding flow, leaving your new colleagues ready to hit the ground running.